Well, welcome to another News Game Plus. <laughs> I did my fingers. Oh, because I've got to count. Yeah. I'm old. Leave me alone. <laughs> so I'm Dermy, who apparently can't count. <laughs> I'm here with New Game Plus executive producer, Jason. I use, I, we, we, we all can't be wounded. I use my arm computer. You always talk over your name. <laughs> I, I, I always have. I've always used my arm computer. Even when I used to work in like, yeah. a hospital and stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> people <laughs> would tell me stuff. <laughs> and I had to enter it in my arm computer. So if I was doing that, <laughs> it'd be <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'd be fine. And then people would go, if you got that, I'm like, yep. And they'll be like, oh, are you sure you got it? I'll say, if I get it wrong, I'll say, here's a drink. And I always got it right. I never had a wrong order. And it's because I put it in my arm computer. But if I didn't put it in my arm computer, I'd never make that promise because I would always forget something. So, Are you looking forward to being very wealthy? No, because I'll never be. What? what, what? But isn't Facebook going to pay us? For sure? <laughs> my mistake. We've been unthanos snap, so of course that means we're yeah, just they're going to pay us. Rolling in bucks because New Game Plus. I, got, New I, think Game, I had I had a five dollar note. We're here. a TV show. We're, we're yeah. a bona fide TV show. We're on TV. It's, it's yeah. sure it's Channel Thirty One, but it's still on TV. Hey, look, we probably get more viewers than Sky does, yes. right? I, I'm going to guess this podcast gets more listens and views combined across all the platforms no, that most right. most yeah. Sky videos do on YouTube. Um, Where's our money? Are we, we going to get rich? I can't uh, wait. No, we, we're not because uh, Scott Morrison, despite what he likes to say, uh, it was never about us. It was never about what? independent voice. It was never about media diversity. That was the biggest... That made me so mad. It was like, how can we head off all this pressure on Rupert? And so they pass it in the same week there's a media diversity panel in the set. But... but- but we're but we're yeah. we're effectively a media outlet. We're yeah. we're a TV show, and he, podcast. What was his what was his line? website? Goes, oh, I'm I'm sure there'll be more bespoke deals or something like that with smaller independents. Why would they? Why on earth would they? Why would they turn around to Michael West? Oh, Zach, you can you yeah. can contact us about yeah, you've got you've got the my money. Con- yeah, you've got my the contact money. details. Yeah, the finger thing means <laughs> the, the money, um, the, the pretzel money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh well, yeah. I would already. Purchase the yacht yeah, well, <laughs> on uh, Afterpay. Look, on Afterpay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every fortnight, I'll, I'll, I'll get paid one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, one hundred twenty-six thousand dollars every every yeah, fortnight. Oh well, shit. Oh. <laughs> Let's. I mean, if you want to have that conversation quickly, and I have a friend who works for about, Afterpay, so I need yachts. No, no. Of the two, because people really go after ZipPay, and I don't know why, and I reckon that there's a good because Afterpay is the biggest. It was the biggest increase during COVID, surprising absolutely no one. Because um, suddenly people were paying it off based on their doll schedules, which is two weeks. <clears throat> um, for me, for my work, okay. which is okay, all, scomo. which is the yeah, hardware, right? <laughs> which is always, but it's still putting money back in the economy. You can fucking win people on the dollar just buying It's still games. money back into the economy. It's still paying yeah, for someone's job. It's still anyway liquidity of I money. I put my doll money in my share portfolio. Yeah, see, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, JobKeeper. Yeah, do I, do I get? Jo- oh, no, you could have. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, maybe I'll go talk to um, my accountant. But for me, it's always been zip paid because because I work invoices. I don't want a specific <clears throat> schedule to pay back that money because I don't know if I'm necessarily going to have money. But then when I get that money in, the $1,000 that oh, I have... That's been my life for 20 years. Bang. Dry, drives my wife nuts. I never know when money's coming in because it's all invoiced to customers. Yeah. And, and, and I've got to go by their schedule. And a lot of small businesses yeah. like me, so I can't... can't like and you, and you, you'll, you'll sit there and you'll be like, I need that cash, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, I'll pay you half, I'll pay you half. And then suddenly one day you wake up and there's like three grand in your bank. You're like, oh, you fucking do tea. There, three, goes, that, there oh, goes the credit card. I've had like, tats lotto payments. All that <laughs> but in saying that, sometimes I'll, I'll go two months and be going, oh, Better chase a bit. Yeah, I better <laughs> but, follow but up. That's, yeah. I mean, that's the reality of a small business in yeah. this environment because because um, if you're a big business, uh, you can you can yeah do you, different you have things. legal mechanisms. Well, but there's too. also I learned very early on. There's no use taking customers to court. A for small amounts of money because you'll lose uh, or not lose. You'll the money will go to the lawyer. The lawyer yeah. will just take in their fees. Even if you win costs, costs are like. Um, they're like health cover. There's yeah. there's certain amounts you get, and over that it's you pay. Like yeah. there's, um, yeah, so you, yeah, you got to pay costs. And you just piss people like five thousand or something like that. And you just but. people piss people off that may genuinely not have the money anyway. Yeah. Uh, so look, there's a little bit of if, you, if you're running a small business, there's a little bit of um, a little bit of thinking has to go into yeah. how you do things. But anyway, uh, do you want to do video games? What have you been playing? Because I've been playing two games that I'm quite amazed. What, by. Minecraft. I've seen the videos. Uh, actually, I stopped playing Minecraft for a few days because. Okay. Because I grew up. <laughs> I um, I, I, I love Minecraft, by the way. I've, I've been I've been going back. I've been playing Gods Will Fall, which is the Celtic, um, uh, random uh, proc generated game uh, about taking down the old Celtic gods, uh, which is below your pagan gods, which is really fun. Um, and then I've also been playing Monster Hunter, just because I've been waiting for the fucking patches for. Uh, inspired by the movie. Wait, wait. <laughs> the the quest is up too. Oh, you can play as Artemis. Why is that a selling point? Um, but yeah. um, no, um, uh, I've been waiting for the Call of Duty patches to download because they've just done Zombie Warzone, 
So zombie war zones oh, now. God thing. damn zombies. Zombies in a game. Oh, but uh, have you are seen the Nazi size zombies? They've got to be Nazi zombies. They are Nazi zombies. Yay! Yeah. I think actually, I think now they're Russian zombies because the the, the Russians. Oh, that's who we that... hate now. Yeah, okay. No, cool. no, no. Okay. I, for all should I want to give Call of Duty? And so the guy who Call of Duty is developed with the Pentagon directly. Of hundred percent. Of course, it's got Russian 100%. zombies. <laughs> uh, again, when it's like, oh, you know, um, what happened in um, Persia in Iraq, like with the Shah, was definitely. Terrorists and not. Do you remember they made the uh, Highway of Death a Russian thing in the last game? I remember. They pretended that the Russians did it, not the Americans. Uh, I turned it off for World at War because that was Treyarch's first game, and I turned it off because it was, oh, burn them in their steel caskets. And then it's like heavy metal music over fucking hanging gypsies, and I'm just like, I'm fucking. Unless you, am, unless you do it in a way like Spec Ops did. I don't know why it goes on. Like but Spec Ops is fantastic. It's got to teach you a lesson. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it's glorifying. Well, yeah, and so. And so the one thing I will say, because the, the guy who wrote Black Ops 1, 2, and Cold War, right, which are the good ones of, of the Call of Duty series that's not Modern Warfare. Because Modern Warfare, so much one about Modern Warfare 1, it was still one of the best, it was like Spec Ops. It was a great treatise on warfare and the pointlessness of it and all that. And then that's why he had to go, because it wasn't making as much money as if they just went full multiplayer. Well, Spec Ops didn't make, make money, nah, did of it? course it didn't. No, no, yeah. of course not. Because, I mean, Jaeger took most of the money himself, but you know what I mean? Like, he's still not going to make money. Um... But Black Ops 1, 2, and uh, Cold War, written by the same guy, and that same guy directed Blade Trinity. So f- he made up for the, the how shit, yeah, for how okay. shit Blade Trinity was by writing these good games that actually had reasonably interesting stories. And the zombie storyline, believe it or not, ties in through all the three games. Do you know what I mean? Like it becomes this Nazi, you know, Wolfenstein-esque, the Germans love having these kind of technologies into, you know, like, so... It, and it, now they're commie Nazis. And, but no, but how they link that is actually not bad. It was like, basically, we're sending the, the, the Russians down there. Like, the Russians find this old bunker, they send people in to deal with it, and then those people become the progenitors for the new zombies. So I was like, I get it. And I mean, like, again, the, the so we've called... Okay, we've started, at least it's about video games. Call of Duty Cold War has two endings. You can, there's one of two endings you can pick. One of the endings is, ha, we did it. We stopped Perseus from setting off the World War. Perseus, uh, what year is this? 2000 BC? <laughs> long story, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, and so I, of course, did not pick that ending. Uh, and I went the other ending, which was like, basically you lead all the Americans into an ambush and they get ambushed and then a bomb goes off in eastern uh, most of Eastern Europe. Um, and kills like about three or four cities worth of people. And you just hear Ronald Reagan going like, "Oh shit!" on the phone. He's basically the end. Yeah, might not get reelected now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, I, I might have to start a war on drugs to cover yeah. this one up, or, or, or negotiate some hostage releases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. negotiate, delay, delay the negotiate. Little while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's been my gaming experience lately. Just Monster Hunter World and waiting for Call of Duty yeah. updates. Um, what about yourself? I haven't been playing anything with zombies in it. I can't stand zombie, but anyway, no, I, I two two games I played. Uh, been playing with my daughter a bit of Nino Cooney. Yep, on the Switch. So that's that that spectacular. Yeah, yeah, that, that is spectacular. And it's funny because if you send the new things for Pokemon, it's basically Nino Cooney, and it's like so they've taken the Nino Cooney formula and gone. That stop, was a really good idea. Stop reading my notes. Oh shit! Oh, well, I mean, I'm, <laughs> it's if you're not going to mention Arceus, that's so, it. Yeah. It's a shush, and it's a um, yeah. No, Nino Cooney. The presentation is, is amazing. Yeah. Um, the other one, Bell and Wonderly. Now, Jamie messaged me. Said, have you seen Bell? I went, ah, oh, it's it's the new UG Naka. It's Knights. It's, it's Knights. Uh, it, it, uh, it, it is Knights and Ukulele. Yes. In uh, in one game. F- together at last. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. But even my daughter looked at it and she went, that's, that's Knights. And, but you don't do the spins with the wing, yeah, yeah. rings and that. Um, kind of cute. A bit. A bit. Uh, Old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, I would say. And, and, and if you said it's old fashioned for a younger audience, there's parts that aren't necessarily easy enough for a younger audience. Um, yeah. But, but uh, interesting game, very. The presentation is is wonderful, as, as yeah. it always is with stuff he makes. Um, but interesting game. I wonder, I, I wonder if he's going to sell enough to justify the energy. I don't course. think so. Yes. And, and the reason I say that is um, Ukulele didn't do that great, did no. it? Um, and, and I played a lot but of you, ukulele. ukulele. Ukulele was in the middle of that Kickstarter culture where it was if you're a week late, you're in trouble. So it, it, Ukulele was a, it was a great game. It has the same thing as a camera sometimes when you're yeah, doing the 3D. Yeah. 3D platforms always had a problem with the camera. It's always, I mean, you're jumping and you may not exactly know there's where a reason. Land. There's a reason Crash Bandicoot didn't do it and there was a reason that Super Mario Brothers on 64, as much as I don't like the game, I understand why it was revolutionary because it managed to make the camera work somewhat. 
And then the biggest complaint you'll have on 3D platform is always camera. Yeah, uh, this has it. Uh, it feels, look, it feels like a game from a while ago. Yeah. <clears throat> it's still cute. It's still worth playing. Anybody that likes... It, it, it feels like one that, you know, you get like the shoot 'em ups on Dreamcast and people like make shoot 'em up games that work on Dreamcast. It feels like that. It feels like here's this classic style of game that you love from a, like from a director that you might know. Uh, and here it is. So then it's like, so who's the audience for that in the modern day? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I hope they sell their 200000 to cover their costs, but I don't think they will. The presentation's wonderful, and it's got, it's got their, like Knight's it's got the, the two kids and everything in there, and they're a little bit uh, down, a little bit depressed about life yeah. and, and all that. So that's obviously a thing he's yeah. going for. Um, if it was Target, if it was an easy game to play, yeah. um, I'd argue it's, kids, yeah. yeah. Um, but sometimes it can be a bit, a bit difficult. Um, I'm playing it because I, I like that style and I don't mind the old gameplay style, but it's, it is it is an old style. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But still, uh, I'd still say if anybody saw it and it wasn't like $80, grab it. Yeah. Um, because it is full it, price at the moment, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah, I think it's going to have trouble at 80 And I, I don't like saying it because I love, I love uh, that style of game. But <clears throat> yeah, it... If it was like a twenty buck game or something, you'd, you'd jump yeah, at it. If, you, if it was thirty, you, I think I think genuinely the volume they would make up selling it at thirty bucks would make up for any deficit they would make trying to sell it at eighty. Like yeah. if you sell fifty thousand at eighty, but you sell one hundred fifty thousand at thirty, you've made more money. If I compared the two games I played, so Nino Cooney yeah. and Bell in Wonderland, there is, <clears throat> and, and I didn't do this on purpose, but yeah. you can see that one game is a modern yeah, game, yeah. and and the other game is a an, a game how we used to do things. Well, you, you, um, you remember that Nino Kuni is made by Level Five, so Level Five do Yokai Watch, and they do a lot of those kind of games. So, from their point of view, explains the monsters. Yeah, they they <laughs> yeah. were making something they knew. You know what I mean? And so yeah. it's the same with uh, but, the pre- but the presentation, the whole thing's yeah. presented like a cartoon. So, yeah. so it's a, it's a Ghibli thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was a G- G- Ghibli. They they did the character designs. Yeah, so the, the whole thing looks like that. Just don't play um, Nino Kuni too. Jared will tell you why. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, look, it, it is it, Nino Cooney on the Switch is spectacular. Bell and Wonderland is cute and yeah. nice, but you can tell that there's there's just they're from different ages almost. Yes. Even though Bell and's coming out, if you see Bell and Wonderland for like twenty thirty bucks, grab it. It's cute. It's worth playing. Yeah. Um, if you see it for eighty, don't know. But anyway, I don't want. To, I feel bad saying. I, that. I actually I feel bad saying that. Um, if you're right. like a trader. Apparently, did you know there's a Pokemon game coming? <laughs> Pokemon Legends, something starts with A. Arceus. <laughs> yeah, really? Um, uh, Arceus. Uh, open sure. world in feudal, feudal Japan. Now, now I'm not a big... <clears throat> now, anyone listening or watching, I'm not a big Pokemon person, no, so no, I'm no. not going to know this. Um, but yes, it, it uh, look cute. Um, it, it's one of... It, there's also Pokemon Diamond Arceus. and Pearlby Arceus. remake too. Yeah, uh, so Pearl and Diamond, are, no, yeah, Pearl and Diamond are being remade. Yeah, remade, yeah, and that's being done by a third studio, a third party studio. I saw some people very excited by that. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, whatever. Traditional <coughs> Pokemon games lost me years ago, so. Um, and uh, do you want a rumor? Uh, go on. Uh, uh, go on. Here's a rumor. The uh, you might have heard this because I think you might have heard it from the same place I did. The PlayStation 5's really super duper fast. Uh, doesn't drive. work. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, not CD, so the the M2 drive, effectively yeah. on there. Uh, I believe I told him to send that to you, but I'm also not surprised. Ah, there you go. Ah, see, see, you were the yeah. source of my rumor. There you yeah. go. Um, basically, it doesn't work. So all this stuff about the PlayStation 5's really, really super duper fast drive. Yeah. Um, it's not being used because basically it, over, it overheats the console. Like, like I said to this same person when you when he sent it to me, well, like if only some. Silly Bogan had been saying for the last eight months that it's not going to work properly, and if it does work properly, it's just going to add a barrier to game development that people won't want to do. Uh, people would have laughed that particular person out of court, but lo and behold, here we are. Now, what you get is you get people go, you just hate Sony. <laughs> and that's true, I do. But at the same time, I'm not wrong on this. Like, like that yeah. does it, because you just hate Telstra. Yeah, I don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to know the reasons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to hear why? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How long you got? <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, look... Um, yeah, so that, that's that's a cool. So basically, PlayStation Five. Yeah, so there's, there's a specialty drive. M2 Can't controller work. doesn't work, and so the one that, the one that yeah. kind of does raid. Yeah, um, yeah, inside it, uh, which is weird because that's a. I mean, that sort of technology. PCs are doing it okay, <laughs> so but the PlayStation Five can't. It's probably PlayStation Five is probably making enough heat anyway. You've seen the heat sink and yeah. the fan. It's probably making enough heat that this just pushes it over the edge. That might be it. Uh, but anyway, the interesting rumour. Uh, so if you're playing on your PlayStation 5 at the moment, your super duper fast drive isn't doing shit. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here's another Sony one. 
I'll go first. Uh, did you see the story that Sony's games are coming to PC? Yes, so they've, they've got Days Gone coming to Steam or something. Uh, Days Gone looked interesting. Mm. Oh, that's the one with the motorbike. Uh, you have to get your motorbike. I would, I would, I would, I would say, I'll tell you, I game. In the most re- last few years, it's probably the <clears> game that has been the most split between audience who seemed to like it and get what they were going for and critics who didn't like it. And looking at it, not to be that guy, looking at it, I'm just like, it just seems like lame, bikey, Last of Us. Do you know what I mean? Like, and so I don't think I'm wrong in that assessment, but at the same time, I believe that's also what the audience wanted. So, you know what I mean? So it's that thing of, well, yeah, it might be that, but that might exactly be who they're selling it to and therefore it doesn't... I, I like the idea of the motorbike you have to keep running. Yeah. I might get bored with it, like I got bored of scrapping in Fallout 4. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, remember, I remember when we did the, the thing of that, and you were like, like scrapping, I'm like, first. yeah, just wait for it, and then you realise that, oh, I'm saving a tiny blob of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, actually. I could talk about that for hours, believe it or not. What annoyed me most is I couldn't make anything that wasn't didn't look like a homeless shelter. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, that's yeah. sorry. I mean, yeah, you know, like it had corrugated iron. I wanted to make things look really good. Yeah. Um, you, you, only, you only make a shanty tent. You couldn't make that's a it. That's yet. the word I was going for. Even the yeah, shanty tent. I it, I just couldn't do anything really nice with it. Yeah. And I thought, well, the the institute can make nice shiny white walls. Yeah. Like, and I. Um, and you know what? If I was there, I'd put the extra effort into doing that because that's the sort of person I am. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, Sony's game, Sony, <coughs> Sony Japan Studio. Uh, so Sony's winding so they, down. They, they have been losing talent left, right, and center from Japan. All, all their devs are gone, apparently. Yeah, uh, it's the oldest Sony first-party developer. Yes. They made Ape Escape. That's, yes, that's a long. They made time Ape ago. Escape. They made Tokyo Jungle. They made oh, one of a the big hello to Ray if she's listening because that is the game that got her into the industry. What, Ape Escape? Or? Yeah, she did a review of it. That's, yeah, how yeah. Got, that's how she got the job. Her Ape Escape review is what, what safe, got her the job safe on... Point. Save Point? Yeah, Save Point. Yeah. So anyway, there you there go. You go. Uh, it's why I remember Ape Escape. But Sony, yeah, Sony's winding down the Sony Japan studio. Sony, Sony basically now has decided that it's all about China and they work out of California. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Is it Sony Sony's doesn't give a shit about Kelly, Japan anymore. So, so there was a, there was a thing a couple of R. months R. ago. R.I.P. Sony Japan. Yeah, there was a couple of things. There was a thing a couple of months ago, and it was about basically, um, um, yeah, it was basically about um, how the perception in Japan. They did a survey, and the one thing with, with surveys is that some countries you can't trust surveys because it's only the people who are vested who answer it, or people who answer like like every political survey you read, read and like. Fortune gets a link post. Correct, to it. and then it's all over. Hitler did nothing <laughs> wrong, right? Um, and so hard crop hard crop yeah, yeah. straight off to the Australian Unemployed Workers Union yeah, yeah. Shoop. yeah. Um, yep uh, and so um, yeah so and, and they felt that there was like the, the faith they had in Sony as a brand was gone they feel like Japan wasn't a focus for them anymore and Kelly came out specifically and said that's not true Japan is a focus for us blah blah no, not- we are going to shut down Tokyo, J- Tokyo Sony Japan though uh, just because um and yeah, and so then all of the Wii games are going to go to Switch. They change all the conditions yeah. on the games. They've yeah. they've uh, they change the button mapping on uh, yeah. the PlayStation. The yeah. pissed off Japanese Whitey, games. Whitey one, yeah. They don't give it. Sony, Sony, right now, they're if they are, if there's anyone in Sony in Japan, they're standing on the border, looking across the ocean yeah. at China. Yeah. Going, oh, we wish we were there so bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's Sony right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, only, the only time that they're, um, they're dead. that Sony USA is looking at Japan is because yeah, they've got to they've got to look through Hawaii and Japan to see the sea of Japan. Yeah, so, yeah. Now there's um Sony Japan is nothing to Sony anymore. But anyway, I've said for a while I think Sony's stuff. But then again, if they sell a lot of stuff in China, it won't matter. They won't care. So and, there and, you go. So that that is the double down that they're making. So it will be interesting <laughs> to see. Um, but again, yeah, Nintendo's the hentai console, um, Phil Spencer, I wouldn't be surprised if you see more news, because apparently they're doing something mid-March for Phil Spencer for Xbox, that'll be the announcement of the new Halo date, plus a bunch of other stuff, unsurprisingly. Oh, um, Halo, Halo, I did have news here, Halo's getting a TV series. That, I mean, but that's been stewing for a while, hasn't oh, it? I've, I've watched the Halo ones that are already out, yeah. I watched them with my son, because he, he was big into Halo for yeah, a while, yeah. uh, they're pretty lame, pretty, pretty, uh, macho, sort of. Typical well, American look, crap, look, and, and that's what that's what I mean. Modern, I, but yeah, yeah I, I think it's tougher to do it with Halo because Halo's story is so much more straightforward. Gung ho, than say something like a Last of Us. Like so, what you want about Last of Us? There's a, there's a universe you can build into that universe. You can add a, a side journey that's a little moral quandary. Whereas with Halo, it's very much us versus them siege mentality, and it's yeah. much harder to. Oh, they've already got a little bit of background story on the Master Chief and all these yeah. other 
Master Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah wait, so Spartans. But that's it. Uh, so, they, so they've done a bit of that. Uh, but anyway, there's this TV series coming. It'll be interesting. Uh, I think it's on a, on a provider we don't get in Australia, so it'll be on Foxtel. Yeah, or it'll be on your favourite Russian sites that you like to go to. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, Not going to link to any of them, but you know what to look up. Everyone should get a Plex server. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, all right, what else have we yeah, got? It's K.TVK, yeah. There's a... What? Hey, there, there's a um, Division movie coming. Now, Division Division's actually a pretty good game. Except it's got Jake Gyllenhaal. Is Gyllenhaal. That his and I hate him. And he was, wasn't he in Prince of Persia? Yes, he was the Prince of Persia. Well, at least finally he'll be race appropriate. Because <laughs> so, they, they, originally they had the chance to hire a guy who was Persian blood. And you had to ride horses and you had a sword fight. And he was, and now we're going to go down that very. And I mean, you would call it woke, quote unquote. But at the same time, the bloke's actually Iranian, bloke's actually Persian, can ride horses and can swing a sword. <coughs> to me, that sounds overly qualified for it. I mean, Errol Flynn could act worse than that. He was only got into Hollywood. Yeah, he could, look, yeah. look, you know, I'm not a woke, but you're you're yeah. this Jason Worry here. Yeah. I I'm not woke. I I find a lot of that stuff dumb, but I like. Yeah. I don't care enough to get upset about yeah. it. Um, but I do think if you're going to put set a movie in a certain part of the world, the actors probably should be from that part of the world. Putting Americans in everything is really dumb. But then yeah. that's but that's very American. It's like the whole world is American. They act like uh, and when they go the way when in movies when Americans go in other countries and like they'll just act like they it's their property. My my, my uh, biggest bugbear. Dial in, that back, Yanks. It's my dumb. biggest bugbear in modern video games, everything culture, is roles written. With realistic accents, so it'll be Indian women doing Indian accent. Crackdown is was an Indian woman doing an Indian accent, right? It'll be an African doing an African accent, but the writing is distinctly American. It's American idioms. Oh, Mulan. It's, it's it's American yeah. idioms. It's American euphemisms, and they're said by people who it's unnatural to. Like if I, if I listen, hmm. to, like like I say, there's a certain group of people in the world who can <clears> say, mate, the British Isles, Ireland, uh, South Africa. Um, New Zealand, Australia. They're the obvious ones. We can all say mate. It's yeah. our word, right? The yeah. other one that I would add to that Tell list... Tell me, mate. Yeah. In, like, the subcontinent. India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. They're the other ones you can say because A, they put up with enough of the pom shit to do it and B... That's where they learnt their English. They learnt their the English off English because it has multiple meanings. Yeah, the Yanks are shit with words, and, and that's what that's to me is <laughs> the, thing the C word. They're shit with that. that so they don't they, understand how to use it. So, so, so you'll have these <laughs> you have these Indian characters speaking with American things. So sometimes in the future you can understand that because eventually the US cultural hegemony will push English tra- like English speaking into that. But we ain't there yet. So if you're going to do that, you've got to make them sound realistic. Like you can tell when they haven't consulted with someone. Of that particular thing, like they haven't even checked like it. Mulan. Like, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, Mulan, I mean, Mulan ruined that more than just that. It ruined the story. It became, yeah. oh, you can, you two can succeed if you have superpowers. By the way, your sister's oh, only, yeah, yeah. only yeah. value is getting married. Like, yeah, yeah t- t- tall, athletic, attractive women can be anything in the world. Everyone else find a husband. Yeah, <laughs> that was the message. That was Mulan. literally message uh, that's a Mulan. pretty toxic yeah. message in this day compared and age. Compared to the old one, which was literally. She fights alongside all these people. She She's just respect. absolutely. And yeah. I mean, that's. And did I show you that great video by that mm-hmm. Chinese guy who was like, Probably, "This yeah. is why I, I, f- I felt it was a failing." It was such a good. I review. actually went out of my way to see. And yeah, I'm not woke, but yeah. I, I did go out of my way to see a few videos by Chinese people yeah. of their thoughts because I was curious. Because I mean, I I, I like the cartoon. I thought the cartoon was better. Um, I know my my daughter loved the cartoon. Yeah. Uh, my wife, I think, it's one of her favorite movies yeah. ever. Um, well, she would have been she would have been in her twenties when Mulan first came out. Yeah, we, you know? we watched. Not the, to, not, I don't tell her I said that. We like, watched the movie and yeah. we're like, mm-hmm. yeah. like I, I didn't think it was terrible. But I tell you what, from the female side of the house, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a different reaction. But um, but anyway, it's American sensibilities. They 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 can only see things through their understanding of the world, yeah. and and they're only a small part of the world and getting smaller. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. and so that that to me that's my biggest bugbear. So I definitely <laughs> understand what you're saying because I feel like. It, when it doesn't sound authentic to character, it like that, that, yeah, that goes back to that World at War thing. It's like burn them in their steel caskets. No Russian is saying that. Do you know what I mean? Like that's you sound, trying to say what a Russian would sound like. Like grow up in Daniel, you know what they'll they'll use the the fewest words possible because yeah, if they if they don't know the language well, they're not going to try and overcommit to a word they don't understand. They're going to use the minimum to convey what they mean. And if you're going to go beyond that, then you need to show that they've. I don't know. To me, it Did just... you ever see the movie Firefox about the Clint Eastwood with dinner about the Russian plane? 
No. Oh, that had made. I mean, I'm I mean, using this Firefox, was, but it's... No, nah, this was a long time. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's called saying, Firefox. Yeah. It's a long time ago. And th- th- this is the most American thing ever. It was like, uh, in the end, uh, he's been, he's been, he's got this super-duper secret Russian plane he's trying to steal for the Americans. Yeah. And it's mind control. The plane's all mind control, sure. right? And this is like, like probably 40 years ago. <laughs> anyway, and he's being chased by two MiGs, and they're, they're, they're about to shoot him. And he's trying to, he's trying to, trying to shake him. I can't remember exactly what it was, but he goes, he starts going, think Russian, think Russian. And then missiles shoot out the back of the plane and hit him. And, and like the Yanks haven't got any better. <laughs> <It's> still, <laughs> if I was a Russian watcher, I'd go, get fucked. <laughs> Imagine, think Irish, think, oh, well, that used to be, they used yeah, to yeah. when I was young, they told Irish jokes. And yeah, always, yeah. yeah, so, yeah the, but anyway, that's Americans, uh, the world's not American people. And you know what? Soon you'll be almost as irrelevant as Australia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way things are going. Um, but there's a division movie coming. We went off topic. Yeah. Uh, division movie coming. We've got Jake Gyllenhaal in it, uh, which is finally he's in a place where he might live. Um, Division's fantastic game. I hope the movie's good. Let's okay. go with that. Mm-hmm. I love the game. The division game. Anyone hasn't played the division games? Play the division games. They're really. Def- good. I think one, Division One is free on Game Pass. Yep, play it. Um, anyone has played it, play it. It's good fun. It felt a little bit Deus Exy as well with some of the tech involved in it. So um, uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, ah, yes, Harry Potter. You mentioned Harry Potter before, so just gonna let's get, get rip do, off that band aid. Yeah, let's okay. do that. So um, Resetera has banned any talk of the new Harry Potter game. People are upset. They're very angry. The lead developer may be an anti SJW or something like that. Uh, oh, the author more, it's a bit more intense than that but yeah like, the author the author uh, hates trans people apparently yeah. um, well she does she's very very well, uh, very vocal in her turfiness which well you know. I, I did find it I, I, th- I think I uh, let's put it this way as a, as, a, as a male I I think it's an interesting one because I don't think it's a male's place to get in to tell women Who's a woman? Yeah, and so that's their. That's what I'm getting at. Is that's their conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, sorry, to, sorry to, I awoke you. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. it's kind fair. of and it's an interesting one to look at as an outsider because it is. It's kind of like their their yeah. chat. Um, anyway, so um, but it's a lot of fuss about Harry Potter. You know, I've spoken to people that love the Harry Potter book, and yeah. I've said, oh, I have all this stuff. You know, Rowling said about, and they go, uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, most most people don't give a I, shit. I, I, look, I, does. I, I've never liked the Harry Potter books. I've always thought they were bullshit. Like, I hated yeah. them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe I was crap version of Lord it. of Rings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I said I didn't like Lord of the Rings either. But I like at well, least that's I, it. Podcast. At least, right. at least, a, that is the most insane thing. As you've an ever Irishman, said. how can you like Lord of the Rings? Like, is, is that because you've had Elevensies or Second Breakfast, and therefore you feel a thing? How are your hairy feet going, man? Fuck you, Tolkien, you fucking prick. Rot in your fucking grave, cunt. Like, yeah, like, yeah. The, 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 don't worry, the proud Nords will come and save us from Gondor. Get fucked. Who are the heroes? Yeah. We like, just want to live and farm. Right? Yeah. Grow yeah. potatoes. Well, yeah, yeah. Diddly dee, yeah. potatoes. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. But they wouldn't even let you know. If, 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 if Lord of the Rings was realistic, you would have Aragorn and fucking all these people go over there and insist that the, the, the hobbits grow... Uh, potatoes, uh, so they can send that to. They take them all. They take the hobbits and stuff. Yeah. And that, that would be a realistic Lord of the Rings. And I know that Tolkien wrote it because he felt the British Isles didn't have their own a mythology. Their own mythology, because yeah. he considered Arthurian. But he created mythology. every mythology since. He created Great Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. Yeah. He created. He created. All, if it wasn't for Tolkien, yeah, all that stuff. I've always not liked high fantasy, and I, I, it's, you're not allowed to say that in my circle. I never watched Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, well, wow. I never like. I think it can be done, but it's like, have you played Greedfall? No, Greedfall is infinitely more interesting to me because it's basically I'm a French slash Englishman and I travel to the, the the pagan isles to find a to find a, a, a cure for my affliction, right? And so basically, it's like Flemish, Celtic, Irish, all those pagan <coughs> like thought processes put into like so that's who you're going to see. So it's you interacting with the pagans and dealing with all that. Infinitely more interesting. Infinitely more interesting than fucking orcs and goblins and shit like that. I don't know, man. Maybe that's just me. But I've never been a fan of high fantasy. Uh, Tolkien was a borderline racist. I mean, George Lucas was an actual racist, but um, oh, we, we, Tolkien, we, Tolkien was a borderline. Let's talk. Let's oh, talk C.S. Uh, Lewis was the worst of the lot. Don't get me wrong. Let, C.S. Lewis was Let's talk the Jewish Britannia. bankers in Harry Potter. I find it weird that everyone's upset about what she said since, and yeah. they didn't see the obvious 
class structure in Harry Potter. Yeah. The pro yeah, it's all private school kids, yeah. gift gifted families. If you're born in the right family, you're better than yeah. other families. Um, yeah, all the messages in Harry Potter. I I actually thought when I first saw it, it was it was so horribly offensive it's, to it's, me. If they were meant to, be I don't care what she said about women and trans it, it, people. It, it, the other the class stuff is well, if, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's just my, not my not my fight. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. The class stuff is to me way worse. And if it was meant to be, if it was meant to be a conversation about those problems, it didn't nail that either. Do you know what I mean? Like it. Didn't no, it celebrated. Yeah. It celebrated. It celebrated birthright. And, yeah. and, and and as 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 of Irish descent, I have an issue with people that claim no, birthright. No, no gods, no kings. Like yeah. Yeah. If if somebody claims birthright over me, I I am dead against it. There we so, go. Um, yeah. No. There's no. I don't. I, I do not recognise anybody's birthright. Yeah. I, absolutely. It's not a thing to me, um, but anyway, Resetta is upset. Resetta is upset. Eh, they're a bunch I of babies. I find Resetta is a bunch of gronks, so that's not even <laughs> gronks. Isn't even strong enough. Uh, but yeah, uh, hello, Resetta. We can't wait to be there. <laughs> no, no, Resetta is full of dickheads, but they're all upset. You know what? I, I will. I, I do reckon. Um, if the game doesn't get cancelled, it'll make a lot of money. Yeah. Because there's so many Harry Potter fans out there that just don't know this stuff. No, hold their nose. Don't worry about that. And yeah. I find it interesting because for the longest time we've had a conversation around. Once, once you find out that an actor's a loser or that somebody, um, well, they they almost all are. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Okay, you go. Uh, so, so if you go on Twitter and you say, you know, oh, I really hate right wing people, and then you go, you know, you see Adam Baldwin. Oh no, you know, I hate lefties, and then you go watch Adam Baldwin's Twitter, right? And uh, and then you go, holy shit, when he was on Chuck and uh, on Firefly, he wasn't acting. He just turned. He turned up one day with all these guns and yeah. he got a road picture. And no, I was no. scared to send him home. That's just yeah. filthy, right? Yeah. And then then you go, okay, I'm going to go over the other side. Maybe maybe Seth Rogen. Maybe maybe I can yeah. I can like find some peace. What? And you go, fucking hell, Seth Rogen. Is a giant dickhead. <laughs> like they're all idiots. Yeah. But you know what? They're all actors, and they're yeah. all paid to be. And this is why I reckon they should shut up about everything other than acting, right? They're all just paid to do a certain thing. In fact, I have a, I have a bigger problem with Seth Rogen. I'll tell you why. It's going to sound. I right. find him unfunny. So that's yeah. You know, not like, just that. He he bangs on about the um the problems women face in Hollywood, right? Yeah. Because women have to be a certain look and that. And I go, dude. You're a fat, ugly piece of shit. Yeah. Like, I'm funny and, piece and of shit. And you're yeah. not funny. You keep getting these roles. You you are the thing. Yeah. You, Seth Rogen is the problem yeah, yeah. because he doesn't deserve anything he's got. Yeah. But he'll sit down and go, oh, well, yeah, women are being kept out of roles because they're not like like skinny enough. And you go, have you seen yourself? Yeah. You, are, you are an absolute symbol of the problem. Yeah. And in fact, if Seth Rogen wants to fix the problem... Fuck off and get out of Hollywood. Yeah, because he's not funny. He he doesn't have anything physical or clever going it, it, for him. The, the best things he's ever done are things that he's produced and not things that he's actually been in. He Everyone, did boys, didn't he? He produced boys. Yes, and he produced, and he put himself in it because he's a fucking idiot. And preacher. Uh, I don't know preacher. Is. Preacher was good. So, but okay. preacher's the other Garth Ennis one that he bought. So they bought both at the same time. Okay, so he had enough yeah. money to buy. But the thing is, he goes on about this stuff. He goes on about the yeah. stuff, the problems in Hollywood. But he is it. And, and he let, let, let's he be is real. the male not, that is the problem. He's not. He's not Joss problem, but he's definitely a like. Well, Joss is a gaslighting sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. Oh man, okay, allegedly. Yeah, this should be the allegedly. Podcast. No, yeah. his wife said. His wife said he was he was basically getting the Joss Whedon was getting the women onto his shows to bang him. Yeah, and and he was gaslighting her the whole time yeah. so that he could keep her around as his shield. Yeah, to say oh, I'm a nice married family man and all that. Um, meanwhile, effectively emotionally and mentally abusing her. Yeah. Um, while he was he was trying to bang every chicky, anyone that got anybody that got the gig on in one of his shows, he, they were there for him to have sex. Yeah, yeah. That that is what his wife said. That's not my words. Joss Whedon's wife. So, um, but yeah, see, Joss Whedon's the left too. I remember his ads against Mitt Romney when he when he was talking about how Mitt Romney thinks everybody's a zombie and that, and that was hilariously funny. But the thing is, <clears throat> it doesn't matter who you like. They're all bad. <laughs> I don't think I've I don't think I've encountered anybody on Twitter who's a famous person who I've gone, hey, a decent person. Yeah. I've, I've, I mean, it, it can be a thing, but I think like I mean, to me, I've always struggled with it because yeah, I am very much an artist. So it's like the two that I just can't switch off: uh, Tom Cruise and Mel Gibson. You, they make a movie, I'll watch it, um, just because. Like, but see, Mel yeah. Gibson brings that intensity, right? Yeah. That absolute like psychoness. But you've got to be a psycho to do it. Like, yeah, he's not acting. It's, yeah. like, it's like Baldwin yeah. being um, uh, Jane or Casey, right? Yeah. You're not and acting. Then, then if you watch Al Pacino in any 
interview that he does, he's super cool. He's, 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 he's all over the yeah. place. Not, you know, like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's so the they, they're the art artists because, because if you said, oh, we should ban those people, you go, well, maybe we wouldn't have those characters. Yeah. So the shows would be less. Yeah, and so, and so I find it interesting, going back to the original point, that Harry Potter is the one that has made Twitter go, let's have the conversation about art and artists. Can I still enjoy this if... The, the people involved that's in the they're all, they're all children that's the only thing they know and it's the, the only book they've ever read yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's my worry is I'm like of all the things that we've suddenly decided this is the line in the sand we're going to start questioning these things wasn't like, Arthur C. Clarke a bit dodgy I, mean, I read every uh, uh, do you want to google that before I go further uh, <laughs> <laughs> google that well I read every because I love science fiction when I was young because I was a nerd right and that was my escape from everything uh, uh, it's not cleric <laughs> Um, um, that's fine at all. But uh, uh, there you go. There was. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, it says not. So life, yeah. I'm not going to say, but people can go from there. There were there were applica- uh, implications. Uh, yeah, allegations or whatever, right? Um, but yeah. So look, if maybe maybe if we do maybe if we do um, uh, try and make the artist off limits for certain things, maybe no. we miss out. In in say Firefly, maybe if we get rid of Jane, Firefly is not as good. And the message that he tried to that Joss Whedon tried to put forward in Serenity, yeah, yeah, which was a, a good message. Maybe maybe we lose that because you know two of the people involved are scumbags. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, maybe there, maybe we shouldn't look too hard at who it is. But if you look at any look at any any person you might respect or admire, if you go to Twitter and search yeah. for him, you'll find they're a dickhead. Yeah, my whole story is Harry, Harry Potter sucks. Jake oh yeah, sucks. I, I couldn't give a right, shit about yeah. the game. Yeah. <laughs> so, Resetera sucks. Resetera is full of idiots. I normally use my other word, but I'm not allowed to on no, this podcast no, definitely anymore. Not. <laughs> so, uh, all right, well, well, Anthem's dead. Talking, talking, stupid. Um, so oh, they, yeah, I, so they, 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 there was a discussion. They were going to do Anthem 2.0, new Anthem or whatever they were called. That's dead too. Yeah, it's all dead. It's all dead. Maybe they can go back and make another Titanfall because that was actually a good game. Uh, Titanfall, uh, Titanfall 2 is fantastic I've got it downloaded on my thing at the moment is, uh, yeah they jumped off the Anthem and they just as buggy as hell but nobody really connected with it even when it wasn't buggy I think there's a risk that you lose if you, if you start really bad it's hard to come back although yeah. No Man's Sky did it um, Rainbow Six Rainbow Six is the biggest example it? of it that, Rainbow Six launched like you got it but it was like people played Rainbow Six because they wanted that tactical shooter basically here's the map plan where your guys will start off and then they they enter and they my son's playing Rainbow Six game. Rainbow yeah. Six Siege, the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, yeah, so it's, yeah. But now it's a multiplayer oh, shit. It's yeah. good. So now, yeah, now it's Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty with gadgets, right? And so people are like, but that's not why I played Rainbow Six. I played Rainbow Six because I wanted that. I have two teams of four people and I'm putting them at these doors and then they get into it. It was a real tactical... You I'm sure that's what it. I saw my son doing. It looked really good. Yeah, but now it's against people whereas it used to just be against NPCs or whatever. Remember Rainbow Six Vegas? And it was you going through no. corridor. So it was the I first... I have got that in my drink house. It was one of the first ones to do... Oh, uh, no, it was um, PS... It was 360. It was, yeah. There was Rainbow Six games before that but Rainbow Six Vegas was I've got two Rainbow Six games in my drink house. Yeah, but not Vegas. Like, yeah. Um, I might bring them in. I'm telling you, it's not Vegas. If it is, I'd be very surprised. Like, Xbox original... So, Rainbow Six Black Arrow. So, that might have been on GameCube. Uh, GameCube fucking Dreamcast. GameCube. But Vegas what's was it? 360. Because it was... Okay, there you go. It was one of 360's first one. And it was, um... Uh, yeah, similar to Gears of War. So, you basically... Okay. Was, yeah. And so, anyway, oh, so it was slow. It took ages. Yeah, yeah, and, But it was a tactical shooter. Do you know what I mean? So, you, you expected that. And Ve- Rainbow Six was about one and two for years... Well, one of the very few games. If I'm not could, wearing a helmet, I'm not walking slow through a battlefield. You could, you could do, you could do, drop in, drop out, co-op. It was one of the first ones to do all that kind That's of stuff. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Rainbow Six Siege came out, and it's a, it's a, it's a Counter Strike clone, at its core, right? It's a count. They have hostages. You need to gain the hostages. Yep. End of the thing, right? So it, it started off, and people were like, "Well, this isn't why I'm buying a Rainbow Six game. This sucks." Uh, yeah, Vegas was a great game, right? Yeah, the same so, likes it. Yeah, so it's like so it's, it's not why people bought that series, and now you've made it a multiplayer shooter. So you made this multiplayer shooter, and at the start it really struggled. But then people go, "Hang on, there's actually a bit of a rock paper scissors here." Like, you know, yeah, you've got the guy who has the charge, but then you've got someone whose secret power is like to have the worm camera, all these gadgets, and so it's about picking the best team to that. But, so that's, had, but that's all. But that's military. It had, it had elements of MOBA in it. It had elements of a decent shooter yeah. in it. Um, so suddenly it got this thing. And then Ubisoft put big money into it. Yeah, they wanted you... For, I think it was in number two. They wanted you to use the Xbox cam. The one where people could get dicks on Uno. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so Rainbow Six, I would argue, is the exact example of where it started off real bad. And they brought it back. Have you played the Outriders demo? 
the new demo that just came out. So Outriders is... I don't know what Outriders is. So it's a new new game as a service by Square Enix, made by the guys who did Bulletstorm, right? No, and, I'm playing Bulletstorm on the Switch. I got the Duke edition. But it has... That's funny with Duke. But it has Duke n- should be in every game. But it has none of the charm of Bulletstorm. Because even if you... I don't care, it's got Duke. It, I yeah, love Duke. But that's what I'm saying. Like, even, even if you didn't like Bulletstorm's edgy humour, at least it had a personality. It knew what it wanted to be. It wanted to be bombastic, whip them into the sky... Spike him, impale him, get your yeah. points, shoot up. It was and be silly. Duke Nukem, because Duke Nukem should be in every yeah. game. Yeah, right, should right, be choice right. of Duke Nukem, Adam Jensen, and then whoever it was in the and game. Because yeah. I'm not playing them, I'm playing those two. Anyway. In every game, please develop Well, I mean, the, the funny thing is, like... I'll pay, I'll pay uh, extra John said John's not going to be around forever, so if anything, now's the time to pass. Not now, because he, he hates um, cause he hates Randy. Oh, yeah, right. He said Randy Pitchford said John Dickhead. Uh, well, <laughs> so Gearbox, probably won't Gearbox just got bought out, so it's, uh, it's fine. Oh, it's probably safe. Maybe yeah. that's maybe that's what he said. He went to a gearbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Randy, Randy, um, Randy, underage girl. Uh, I'm sorry, barely legal. Yeah, uh, Pitchford. Yeah, um, yeah Pally's magic a show. Yeah, Pally's a dickhead. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I met him. I thought he was nice. Who Pitchford? Yeah, I yeah. met him. I, I actually met him, and I said, "Oh, Where I actually." Maybe Expo or something. Uh, it was in Melbourne. One. Uh, it's Pax Melbourne, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I met him. I, I, t- I said, "I like, I like Dick Nickham and forever." I thought Dick Nickham forever was good, and he goes, "Yeah, he's only one." Yeah. <laughs> and we chatted. I, we chatted about Dick Nickham. I, I thought he was I, nice. I, I didn't hate Dick Nickham forever. I'll admit that. Like, I get why it was crap, but also I like. It was fun. You know, yeah. Anyway, uh, moral story is, yeah. Um, uh, Outriders is the new one. Last but, yeah, the, the guys. <laughs> are, oh, anyway, the guys who did um, Bulletstorm are doing that, but it's real. It's it's soulless. It looks like Mass Effect. It's basically the story of Mass Effect Andromeda. You know what I mean? So it's like all these things, and I'm just like, eh, like it just it's it's sad to see. Did you know, say Mass Effect Andromeda? Yeah. Well, it, this is the second company that Square Enix has done it to. Your boys who did Deus Ex, they made them make the stupid Avengers game as a service. Uh, is that, I thought they were retired. <laughs> <laughs> and then did they make a game? And then and then um and then uh, the guys who did oh, Bulletstorm. Damn. The bull- they did Bulletstorm and Gears Judgment, and now their next game is this, and that's okay. Sad. No, Bullet Bulletstorm with Duke is fun. I'll play that. Where are we up to? That was Anthem. Okay, Epic. I got two Epic stories. <laughs> we haven't done Epic for a while because Timmy kept his head down. Nah, well he's still a dickhead. Um, I tell you, he's a Trump uh, game. Uh, Epic. Yeah. Epic. You said there was a class action about. Oh, I'm just going to go. The, yeah. the next one's long, uh, but this one there was a class action about some loot llama thing. People, but I don't give a shit. It's yeah. but anyway, they paid out the class action and everyone got a thousand V bucks. All oh, right. <laughs> so, Not in, in, in store real currency. currency. Yeah, 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 so, right. yeah, you can trade that in for in store currency. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, and they also, but one thing that did pop up in this is they're going to make the uh, the purchases when you buy a loot llama. Now it's an X ray llama. Apparently, it won't be random. It'll tell you what you're going to get before you purchase it. Really? Yeah. Now, EA probably just had a heart attack. So, so, how, so what do you do then? Do you have to re-roll it or something? I just don't know the details. I just how, do saw loot, how do you do a loot box that doesn't... See, that's the thing. It was, yeah. mentioned, it was mentioned in, in, in the articles I read, and never went further. I thought, hey, that's the interesting bit. <laughs> I mean, they paid a thousand. They, they, okay, everyone was going to look that. Oh, look, they paid the class action in V-Bucks. How lame. But, but then, yeah, then they said, from now on, you'll see first what you're going to get when you buy a loot llama. Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a loot box. Game. Isn't don't it? don't yeah, play it anyway. Yeah. Just go play it. But anyway, um, but yeah, so cheeky of them to do the V bucks. Yeah, but on the other hand, yeah. a very interesting, you know, the site to go to. No, go to what? Survivor. Yep. Uh, That's the one with uh, the best story on it. So anyway, the um, yeah, uh, now epic. This one's long. Where are we up to in time? Uh, we got, we got off ten minutes. You fine? Okay. Go yeah, the good one. <laughs> okay, uh, Epic. Uh, Epic and Apple, I don't know if you know, are in a bit of a dispute. I have heard that. Yep. Yes, apparently. Um, uh, Apple actually asked... They, they, I, I, don't, I don't know how all this stuff works in... Uh, in, uh, there you go. Now go to the bottom. I don't know how this stuff works in the US thing, but there's this discovery thing. We don't have it in Australia. I've never heard it in Australia, but where you can basically demand a whole heap of documents off the other side. It's probably in Australia. Oh, no, it? so they're just not... Uh, so we're going to the X-ray lumps, which will show the content before you buy, purchase them in Save the World. So that's specifically in Save the World, not in... Um, it's still, it's still not. It's still not a yeah. loot box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not anymore okay. yet. Uh, anyway... Okay, so they're in there. So they basically demanded a whole heap of documentation off each other. That's as far as I understand it works. Um, but Apple demanded a whole heap of Steam. 
Yeah. Have you heard that? Uh, they say they demanded off Steam. I'll give you the list of things they asked Steam for. They asked Steam, Apple demanded the Steam, not Epic, provide the total yearly sales of all apps and in app products on Steam. They demanded the annual advertising revenues of apps and app, in app products on Steam. They demanded the annual sales of external products related to those apps on Steam. Uh, they demanded the annual revenues from Steam and they had demanded the annual earnings, gross or net, from Steam. And Steam said, go fuck, fuck yourself. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steam said, if you want to pay, we'll go through and get it all for you, but we're not giving it to you. Yeah. Right? Anyway, basically, now they're, they're Apple's reasoning for this, because <laughs> that's pretty... Imagine being asked by, yeah. you know, you're an unrelated company to a court case. Apple, Apple claims that that information is crucial for calculating the total size of the market for Epic's available distribution channels, which the court had found is highly relevant to the case. So basically, they wanted to see effectively if Epic sold Fortnite on Steam, yeah, how much would they, how much, yeah, what would they yeah, make, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was to basically do a calculation. A little bit cheeky on Apple's part, because because once they provide that information, that's a lot. I mean, imagine. Um, it, it, you you could if you were Gaben, you could genuinely say, "I'll give it to you for a hundred million bucks." He kind of did. Yeah, right. yeah, he did. He actually said. From what I was reading, he actually said, uh, yeah, sure, but you're going to be paying for our time. He said, yeah. we, we've got to go through you know, hundreds and thousands of, of, of third-party things. Yeah. We don't make them all. They're provided by other companies. We're going to have to, you pay us and we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll consider doing it, right? Um, now, Apple <coughs> yeah, Apple wants to, pr- pr- to prove the strength of competition for consumers and app developers. So basically, they just want to, they're, they're trying to get out by saying, hey, look, they can put on, on, on uh, Steam, Instead of our store, and they're going to make this much. Uh, it seems seems strange. Seems a bit fishing. I look. It's two prong for me. It's number one. It's uniting Steam against their it's Valve against their biggest enemy, like mm-hmm. like one of their biggest enemies. So it's smart on that front. But two, um, yeah, it's it's ballsy. I'll say that one. Like it's it, it's it really is a case of the enemy. Of my enemy is my friend. Because their their argument would be, well, if you give us this. We take down Epic. Do you know what I mean? Like we, we reduce Epic. I did market think share. that. I did think they're kind of asking Steam for the numbers. And that's why they did it publicly because they yeah. wanted to make sure it was known that they were doing. Oh, it. I forgot here. They also asked for the name of every app on Steam, the date range available of every app on Steam, and the price of every app or its in-app products on Steam. They asked for basically, basically they wanted it. They're, they're, they're like the NSA wanting backdoors into all the social media networks. <laughs> so, Again, if I was Gabe and I'd say 100 million bucks, sure, and we'll, we'll, we'll redact what we want to redact. Do you know well, what I mean? Like, they did give them a copy, and it, they, and Apple claimed that the copy that they did provide originally was redacted beyond usefulness. Yeah, right. So uh, it must have been just a list of stuff and black squares. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We'd call it duty screen. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so yeah, so uh, pretty interesting play by Apple there. Um, I when I read it, I thought that's interesting because yeah, they're they're after one, they want to know how big the market is. If Epic wasn't trying to sell on their store, and if they bothered to put it on Steam, yeah, you know, what are they losing, sort of thing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But anyway, there you go. So that that was a nice, interesting play by Apple. Oh, uh, look, I get it, and I think, like I said, I think, I think realistically, Apple doesn't strain to Valve territory too much. Do you know what I mean? So from their point of view, it's like a different well, markets. We don't yeah. compete. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, let's. Let's take out the one person who's making both our lives difficult or like hamper their ability to expand. And you watch, if they do that, if, if Valve went along with it without asking for money out of it, there would be, you. Epic would find a way to have an antitrust suit put against them. And that's what they're going for at the moment. But that's what I'm saying. If they, if it turns out they were colluding against um, thing, they try and go on under like Rico or some kind of anti-collusion um, uh, legislation instead of just the straightforward court case that they're failing at. That's so bizarre. Like it's just such a. I can't see how Epic's got any uh, any. I mean, my this has been yeah, my argument yeah, from the start. Yeah, you can say what you want about like yeah, Apple are bastards and blah 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 <laughs> for sure. But the idea that oh well they've got to let us be on their platform. Why? Why? Yeah, but th- this is like the News Corp bargaining code yeah. in Australia. Like, um, two two bad companies can be fighting, but in one particular aspect, I can agree with one of them. Yeah, it doesn't sure, mean yeah. that I love them or. Suddenly, and yeah. I, I use the analogy of people. If if um, Essendon and Collingwood are playing a football match, I mean, I don't suddenly yeah. support one. Right? Yeah, 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 I don't suddenly, but I can still go. Oh, that was a good goal, right? Because it's 
but yeah. I, but the rest of it, I think, well, I hope they all just get injured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And in Apple, in Apple Epic, I'm kind of, well, I hope they all get injured, but this is an interesting one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've always been from the get-go, this is just a dumb Super Epic, in the same way that it was a dumb thing from Murdoch Press to, to go for Facebook. We shall see. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they've got a lot of money, a lot of money to pay lawyers. Eh, yeah. What else can they spend it on? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. quality products, paying staff. Yeah. No, that's lame. <laughs> that's old school thinking. That's 20th century thinking. Uh, I've run out of news. You got anything that you that I haven't covered that you um, know? Go off the top of my head. Not really. All of it's all just kind of weavy stuff. Um, there are some rumors abound around um, Microsoft running a thing in the end of March to announce games and stuff like that. And you the guy, purchase of any developers? Uh, no, they there's rumors of that for that, that's that's going to go through mid March if it goes through. Stadia, and then announce it on Stadia took off from the video game market like Sega holding a Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, apparently there was a Kojima game in talks. There was a Yu Suzuki <laughs> game in talks. Mm-hmm. Um, with uh, thing at the time, and realistically, if they're shopping that around, because so th- this is where you start going five brain QAnon shit. St- Phil Spencer released a video the other day with a, uh, a video photo with um, a Kojima Productions like lit up logo in the background. Oh like, yeah, uh, so like he's trying to shot. drop a hint. That's the argument because Kojima because I don't think Death Stranding is on Xbox, is it? I think it is. Uh, Death Stranding. Xbox. It definitely didn't come out at launch. Uh, Might come soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it's all like it's all fake news. Like it's all yeah, it's all news. fake news. Yeah. Most video games. You know, if you go on YouTube and you search for anything, say say you look for Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborhood Two, right? Yeah. There'll be videos nonstop saying about oh news about release about it's been shut and 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 it'll be some dickhead talking and he'll never even get to the yeah. topic of the video <laughs> it's so bad it is so get bad you that, on YouTube get to that, that 10 stuff. minutes and then there's nothing in there yeah like, and then you get in a video go he didn't mention anything about yeah wait no <laughs> murder yeah yeah, yeah so that, that oh, fake news is so bad on that on um so bad on YouTube uh, anyway. Yeah, it's not on Xbox. Yeah, I didn't think so because yeah. I, I, that was the point. I, that I was the conversation I was having. Because yeah. I'd like to play through it, but I'm like, I mainly play my series now. You know what I mean? Like, I barely turn on my PS4. You've got a series actually. Like I do. I do. Um, yeah. And it's very, going to very good use thanks to Microsoft. But, but let's be clear, they sent me one. I always say to everyone, like, oh, yeah. oh, hashtag Jason. No, I know. It's like, oh, they sent you one, but you're being paid. I'm like, no, they're getting their money's worth out of it because I review their games now. So before then, they didn't get re- like any game reviews, and so if they made that easier for me, then so be it. But that's like saying, like, okay, well, we, we want you to review a car. Well, that's nice. You're going to give me the car. I always no. found, look, I found it interesting what people are complaining. Knowing what I do about how it yeah. works, I found it, in, and some of the other stuff goes on outside of New Game Plus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I found it interesting the things people complained about. Yeah. Um, they were close, yeah. but they weren't quite there. Let's just put it yeah. that way. Um, but anyway, uh, I won't go into detail there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they, I mean, that's, another, were, that's another thing. They were close. They just... And they, this happens with a lot of these sort of conspiracy stuff. A lot of the time, they're close, but they've just at the last minute deviated yeah, off in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they almost got on target. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I, I said that with it. Like, it and it's not us, by the way. New Game Plus. Don't yeah, yeah. yeah. Not we don't take shit out. With our expensive backgrounds. Yeah, look. Um, a, a brick, brick wall on a yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It floats real well. Yeah, when those yachts have brick walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, that's always been my thing. Is like, I think I think a lot of the, you know, if we're going to go political super quick, if you don't have to, no. but I'm going oh, to. Oh, what? <laughs> um, it's basically like, I think I think people identify a lot of the issues, it's just that their answers are wrong. Cause oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Involved, like, like ped- pedophile lizards from space when it's more obviously just the Liberal Party. Um, yeah, so. Oh, they were better. They were rapists. Uh, they were raping and pillaging, but it turned true. out it was literal, not better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but anyway, there's news coming out about that today that will make this podcast interesting with people. Yeah, for sure. Listen to it. Um, yes. Yeah, yes. I get paid. Yeah, I get heaps of, heaps of cash. Yes. They, they send me their Microsoft bucks. The Prince Bill, Bill, Bill Gates is my bro. I've, I've already had my coronavirus vaccine. Like he's oh, really? Acting, you got a yeah. chip in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so in the same when Five I... 5G activated. Yeah, when I, when, I, when, I, when I walk past the, the terminals, like, it'll recognise my mark of the beast and I can go on and purchase goods and services. You already had one of them. 
That's true. Why they inject you with one? Yeah, and what a waste of time. That's, yeah, that's yeah, taxpayer yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> Put your bet. Double, double down. Right, give it to cool. an offer. Anyway. Now we're crapping on. NewGamePlus.tv is a website. Go there. New Game Plus TV, All one word on pretty much any social media network except Parler and Gab. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else aren't we on? Uh, anyway, so yeah, but, uh, when we say any social media network, it's Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, YouTube. Yeah, so. yeah they're, they're, they're the main ones we use. Uh, yeah. Are YouTube users a little bit um, up at the moment? Like we're, we're doing okay on YouTube, which is nice for a change do, do check out our stuff on YouTube as well um, I've had a whole of playlist about five years ago that uh, still there so go watch them <laughs> uh, we definitely need to update some of the, some of the I think we actually the interview one right? yeah it was good that was good that, that's where we get most of our views that, that and Cart's video oh, yeah but views. if, you, if uh, Alice does like she used to interview Game of Thrones characters and our, our views would go through the roof yeah. <laughs> that's where most of our female so, viewership so yeah, suddenly, suddenly our, our viewers are like 95% female yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, what happened there oh it's a Game of Thrones interview yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, it's, from, it's from it's from 100 or whatever yeah, or, or yeah. cart hey the 100 was another one yeah uh, or cart cart with his um, Weekend videos yeah they, they 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 used to go through the roof as well yeah. so well, they still do okay but they're definitely not like the old days so yeah, go watch my serious business of old game plus so i don't feel so sad because even my mum hasn't watched them so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 my yeah. kids go said they'd watch it when i die i mean it's all about taking one for the team well, you've, you've had a good run. Like <laughs> oh, okay. your gems, well and truly. So, so when you're like two two views off, like you know, getting a plaque, getting one of those. Yeah, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, Jared. Yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> we need yeah. to do something. That's all right. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, it's, it's finally uh, time. Uh, until then, please go to newgameplus.tv so I don't have to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag save Jared. Yeah, yeah save Jared. Yes, uh, uh, I'm on team Jared. Let's just put it that way. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's it. We got nothing else. Yeah, let's let's take it. All right, GG. Good to talk to you.